Today is December 18th, 2016, and I try to always give the date so that if we have any updates to the to the website or to the Chrome tool, um, and you're watching this video, and, and some of this information is a little bit different than what you're seeing, that's the reason for this. And I'll try to keep the videos up to date so that that doesn't happen. Today I want to talk about how to create listings with our Chrome tool. And the first thing you'll need to do, if you don't, you see I've got some stores here already connected. If you don't have a store connected and you just created your account, the first thing you need to do is click Add Store. So if we go to Add Store here, the next thing you'll want to do is choose your market. So if you are selling on eBay, you eBay.com or eBay Canada, or eBay UK, eBay France, or Shopify, we'll have some more stores in the future. So if you see more in here, that'll be the reason for that. Um, if you've got a Shopify store, you would choose that, type in, and then click continue, and it would prompt you to, to log in through our portal. If you're selling on eBay US, you log in here, and, and then it would, it, it would ask you to log in through the portal. So I'm going to talk about how to create some listings with our Chrome tool once you've connected your store. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is go to Amazon.com. Or overstock.com. What I'm about to explain right now will apply to all the markets that we use. It'll apply to Walmart, to Overstock, to AliExpress, uh, to Best Buy, to Sears. It'll work on this. This Chrome tool works on all of the all, all the markets that we pull from. So let's say we want to look up some automotive tools. And the first thing you want to remember to do is on the left here is to choose something that fits your repricing and your auto ordering criteria. So you might choose by prime or just free shipping might be okay too for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click free shipping. And let's say I want to, uh, let's say I just want engine tools just to, just to go in here a little bit further. So you, we've got some good search results here. <clears throat> so you want to go ahead and click your, uh, your, your Chrome tool. And if you don't have the Chrome tool already, there's going to be a link for it in the description. And this Chrome tool is very powerful, and, and this is the same tool you'll use for all the markets that you want to sell from. If you want to, if you're wanting to make create listings from Amazon or Overstock, like I've said, the first thing you'll do is get your search results, get your filter, and then you're going to want to click the the rocket here. And you'll notice it's going to take me to page two automatically. Right there, it took me to page two, and you see it grabbed 27 listings. And it's it's got them listed right here, and they're sorted for you. And you see, it went to page two automatically. And I, I didn't tell it to go to page two; it does that for you. So see, we're on page two. So I'm going to click it again. You see, I've got 20. This is how many, This is the number of listings. It's 27 right here. So I click the Chrome tool again. So now we've got 53 listings here. And you'll see, it went to page three for me. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, and if you're ever worried about you see I'm clicking on and off and it saves it for me. And so what if you go to another page? What if I go back to uh, to my eSync store and then I go back and I think and, and you click it and you're like, oh man, where's my 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 ASINs are gone or my SKUs are gone from overstock or wherever. If you go back there and click it, they'll be back. They'll come back for you. So that's not a problem. And, th and this will this will trim. So if we have, if, let's say I've got another tab open. Let's say I have Overstock open also right now. Those Overstock SKUs will be saved too. So the the t the tool is going to be smart enough to keep up with what you've done and what pages you're on. So the next feature on the Chrome tool is the timed listing grab, and this is a really great feature. You see, I've got 35 pages of SKUs here, and I might not want to sit here the whole time and grab those SKUs one by one, page by page like that. So I can click the timed tool and it's going to grab the next page for me. I think every five seconds or so there, and it's just going to go through, go from page to page and it's going to grab these ASINs. And this again, this will work on Overstock or Walmart. This will just sit here and work until it runs out of SKUs, until it goes to all 35 pages. Sometimes when you do an Amazon search result, I'm scrolling down right here. I'm trying to keep up with the pages at the bottom. Sometimes whenever you do an Amazon search, see I'm on page eight there now. Sometimes whenever you do an Amazon search, you'll see 400 pages at the bottom, and you wouldn't want to sit there and you wouldn't want to do that constantly. So you could you could get up from your computer or something with this time tool. So let's say that I, I want to put up around 300 listings, and I'm satisfied with my 285 listings. That's good enough for me. Um, the next thing you can you want to do is you want to click the copy tool. 
and that's going to copy them to your clipboard. These other options right here, this is if you want to, this will give it to you in a CSV format for all of this information. We've got the, this is the, the product SKU from Amazon. This is the price. Um, this is if it's got Prime or not. All these obviously do because I chose free shipping and most of them are going to qualify for Prime. This is going to be the rating right here. Um, so you can download this information with a CSV format. Um, the next one is if you want to if you want to pull this information up in a Google spreadsheet, you can click here. This is just going to auto open a Google spreadsheet for you. And then if you want if you're done with your SKUs completely and you've you've created your listings and you're happy, you come back here and you can you can delete it and it'll this will zero out for you. Okay, so I've copied them right now to my clipboard. So I'm going to go back to create listings now. So I'll, I'll go to the listing screen. And I'm going to go to create listings. And we're going to cho you got to choose your source market. So if because we're pulling from amazon.com, I need to click Amazon US. So if I was on any of the other stores, Walmart or Overstock, um, any of these other stores, whatever you're pulling from, you need to choose the right one. So I'm going to choose Amazon US. And then I'm going to paste the SKUs in there. Just a simple control control V there. And you see that we have an option down here for take all variants. Uh, I'll make a separate video on this, but that's exactly what you think it is. That, that is to create variation listings. Um, like I said, I'll make another video because these items that I've created aren't really variants. You would use this for shoes or jackets or something with different sizes or different colors. So there'll be another, look, look for another video for that in the future. So to create your listings, <clears throat> we have the option to create with a preview or without a preview. So with preview is if we want to we want to look at the listings before they go live. We want to edit the descriptions, maybe edit the title. We want to edit the pictures or something like that. We've got that option to click with preview. The listings will not go live on your eBay store when you click with preview. They won't go live until you tell them to on the next page. So I'll go ahead and click with preview. If we choose without preview, it, the, the listings will just go live they'll attempt to place on eBay without any without any changes. So I'm going to go ahead and click with preview. <clears throat> and what this is going to do is going to, it's going to try to put the listings on eBay for me now. And uh, but before they go live, I'll have the I'll have the option to change some of them. Um, <clears throat> and so it's sitting here and it's going to create these listings for me right now. This is going to create the listing and it's going to pull the title from Amazon.com or from Walmart.com or Overstock. It's going to pull the title, it's going to pull the ski, uh, the uh, description and the images all at the same time. It's going to make a very nice clean listing for you on your eBay store automatically for you. It's going to take all of that hard work out. So you see it, I'm already getting some good results here um, for these listings. It doesn't take very long to create the listings. So I'm going to preview the listing real quick, and we'll see what we've got. So we've got a nice little listing here, and we can choose a different template if we want. So now we can, we've got a picture inside the description, and we can edit this. We can live change this too. Oh, from right here, okay. So we can change this live and give it a, give it a good look if we want. Um, <clears throat> you'll be able to change this in the future on this side over here. but So you can choose that listing. You can edit the title live, and you'll see it tells you we've got a little quantity here uh, for, the, for the characters to let you know if you're going to run out. Um, you can edit the price. This is showing 500 right now, probably because this is out of stock, and it just the listing tool grabbed it. It's out of stock for free shipping possibly is, is the reason for this price showing 500. This will change once it reprices. Um, we can edit all these, all these uh, variables from this before it goes live. And if I'm satisfied with it, I can click approve. So I'll go back to the listing creation. And if you wanted, you could, you could choose all of these at once and click approve. And it would just, it would make them live. You can change the quantity of how many you've got up. I think we had a couple hundred, so I'll choose 100 here and so there we've got a hundred listings here and they're not all done um, but most of them are we could choose we could choose all so now see it doesn't have all 10 because I for all hundred so there now it's got all 100 listings
And I would just click approve right here and it would create the, and it would put these listings live for me on eBay. I hope that this video will help you create listings and understand how the eSync software can work for you to create very fast listings, very clean listings. And one other thing on that listing tem template on the preview, um, we have a listing uh, template that you, if you have some HTML code, if you know HTML coding, you can create your own nice little listing to make it look how you want. So you can edit this in here and it'll live update for you as soon as you as soon as you make a change. Here, I'll just mess it up real quick so you can see. There, it's going to live change for me. It should look all messed up with some code or something. But, um, it's going to live change for you as soon as you do it. So Maybe change the policy down here. I'm sure it's going to look all messed up, maybe. But. Okay, so yeah, see. So this is going to live change for you. And you can save a created template in here. So if you want to have your own brand or something like that, this would be the way to do that. And you can go back to those listing requests and take a look at that. So these are still pending and waiting to be uploaded because I haven't clicked approve yet. So anyway, this is how you create the listings. If you have any questions, guys, please um, put some comments down below. Um, look, check out our Facebook page. We'll have a link for that too. Um, email us, look us up on our site. However you need to contact us, if you got some questions on, on how this software um, can help you be more profitable, help you create the listings, um, help your policies, any of that stuff, give us some questions and, and, and we'll, we'll try to get to those as soon as we can and help you guys out. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas too. Thanks.